right near the Washington Navy Yard where 13 people were killed today in a mass shooting that includes a suspected gunman. One potential gunman may still be at large. We're not sure. There is inconclusive information about that, but the chief of police keeps talking about it. Our Tom Foreman joins us now to take us through the chronology of this tragic, tragic day. Tom. You know, Jake, the Navy Yard, as you mentioned there, is a Washington institution. It is here in D.C., not terribly far from the Capitol. About 3,000 people work here, civilians and military, including the Naval Sea Systems Command, the people in charge of purchasing ships and submarines and weapons systems. They all work within this perimeter around the base, and there are gates in which they all had to come through this morning to go to work. Nonetheless, at about 8.20 or so this morning came the first report that there was some sort of an active shooter in this building right over here, and people were ordered to shelter in place. How did he get into this building? Nobody really knows if he officially came through one of these gates. We do know that a lot of witnesses today have had concerns about the back side of this building, where they say there are a series of gates and doors that they think are somewhat weak compared to other areas, but we don't know if he came in that way. What we do know is that witnesses say over the terrifying minutes that followed, a number of events happened, including at one point, numerous witnesses say the shooter was up on the fourth floor shooting down into a cafeteria through an atrium. A fire alarm went off in the middle of all of this, and some of the people who tried to flee by running away say as they ran down the hallways, they were encountered by the gunman who fired at them. In any event, authorities say as this went on minute after minute, they encountered the gunman numerous times in gun battles within the building. And by 9 o'clock, according to some witnesses, that was the last they heard of any sound inside here, even though con people continued to wait inside. Bottom line, after all was said and done and these hours had passed, finally we received word at around 1130 that the gunman was believed to be dead. As you said, Jake, there may be another one, but the gunman appeared to be dead and that sadly, as we now know, 12 other people were also lost.